fucking you, dog. You're fucking with my sound, you stupid mutt. <laughs> What's up guys, it is JP, me, and this is JP's Bachelor Kitchen. I haven't watched Gladiator in, I don't know, I'd say at least a good three or four years. I set an alarm because I fell asleep. I knew I was going to fall asleep, I wanted to fall asleep to a longer movie, and Gladiator is the type of movie where I, I, I like the first... 10 minutes and then I don't mind falling asleep for the next half 30 minutes and then waking up and watching the rest of the end because Glare is the type of movie where the Emperor well the Emperor that gets killed I love him to death but like the the kid his son that kills his father I hate that douchebag I hate him this show has no script whatsoever and I'm perfectly Okay with that. I know I can hear all this barking because last week when I was filming, they were barking at uh, 11 o'clock at night when I was filming, and I could hear them over my own damn self, which is really sad because I talk really loud when I'm drinking. Does your nose ever itch? Like, I was told a long time ago, like, if your nose itches, like, mine does now. F me. If your nose ever itches, like, I was told long ago that someone's thinking about you, that that's why your nose itches. I'm like, sometimes I'm itching my nose, I'm like, God damn. I'm like, stop thinking about me. Like, thank you. I appreciate you thinking about me, but. Oh, but stop. What the f was I talking about? This is Longboard Island Logger. I was reading the bottle cap to it because I was like, whoa, did I win a prize? Like, it has some strange writings in it. And the bottom of the bottle cap was poo uh, poo, P U P U, uh, appetizers. Like, poo poo on appetizers. Aren't these balls awesome? I mean, look at them. It looks like a little monk. He's even got his little choir robes. His little ropey thingy that dangles around his chest and stuff. A monk would bless my fucking recipes because, let's be honest, any monk that is on his hands and knees is just begging for a beer at the end of the day. I just love how they, they put this shit in like that old English font. This is all just me being my random ass self. I uh, am random by nature. And then you add a little alcohol in my bloodstream and I get even more random. I did not pregame enough for this video as I did last week. Last week I was totally shit faced. If you don't believe me, go back, watch the tequila honey mustard glaze chicken episode. It's episode two. If you need that, go back and watch that episode. Don't have to watch the whole thing. Just skip towards the end. It's somewhere before, or it's somewhere around the 10 minute mark. I'm not sure exactly because I don't know off the top of my head. Watch that shit. As I pull it out of the oven and I'm looking at it, I was hammered, absolutely glazed over hammered when I was looking at that chicken. I did eat that chicken. Drinking in general plus anything usually spells for a good time. If you're do doing it responsibly, keep that in mind. All right, let me be frank. Tonight we're making no big cookies, but these cookies are bomb. You want to know why they're bomb? They're going to have chocolate stout in them, and they're going to have frangelico hazelnut liquor. Liqueur. Liquor. Liquor. Liqueur. Liqueur. Whatever. They're going to have that shit in this batch. Oh, party foul. Come on, lips, catch up. It's almost empty. It can't be a party foul, right? We are making the Monk's Chocolate Stout. No big cookies. Right after I get another beer.
The first thing we need to do is we need to start melting on a medium heat. We need to start melting on medium heat, uh, three tablespoons of butter. Obviously now at this point, you've already seen the ingredient list, but that's all right. All right, so let's see this. I should note the original recipe called for um, unsalted butter. Personally, I like my butter salted. I don't know if that specifically makes a difference, but um, you're gonna find out. Half a cup of sugar. And two tablespoons of milk. Um, Fort Collins Brewery. I'm gonna be using their chocolate stout for this recipe. It doesn't matter. Whatever's chocolate that you find, use it. Whatever you want. Right, so then you can drink, then you can drink the rest afterwards. Now I'm gonna keep on stirring this until it gets to be even. I'm gonna reduce the heat so I can actually add in the extra stuff here. No peanut bar should ever go to waste. Right, so clearly I did not plan ahead and I am going to be using some uh, oats from an oatmeal cereal and putting them into the thing. Right. Always plan ahead because it's clearly not enough oats. So it'll taste good. And then I stir everything until it's all covered. Uh, not a single oat can be spared in this. They all have to die.
Now I'm carefully gonna set these into the refrigerator. I've already got hot, gone ahead and made room by drinking some beer and making some room in my refrigerator. These are gonna have to sit in there for about 30 minutes. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We've waited long enough. I'm hungry as hell, which means it's time for eating the fucking dessert. Let's take the small one. Oh shit. It's chewy. And this is gonna be fantastic. I really recommend this recipe. Oh Jesus Christ. I've had no baked cookies before. Not a single one has tasted like this. This is really f***ing good. Bless the monks. I think that's how you do it. I'm not Catholic. I don't care. Oh, Jesus, this is really good. I'm gonna have to make a second batch because there's no way in hell this shit's gonna last all night. This is so good. If you have room in your freezer, go ahead and put it in there. You can have your cookies sooner. This is so good. I super recommend this recipe. First time making this. Obviously, I up because I ran out of shit. Holy f it's good. I'm probably gonna get sick from the chocolate. I try to only reserve this for a rare occasion, but it's like an orgasm for my mouth. That's that's what I refer to it as. It's like a, a f an orgasm for my mouth. Holy shit. But they these no bake cookies were fing divine. Okay? They were absolutely fing divine. Thank you, because they were f***ing divine. Like, honestly, holy shit, they're good in your mouth. Like, you'll chomp on one and like, there'll be fireworks exploding in your head because they're, they're that f***ing good. At least the shit that I made here, which you will probably never taste. I will only taste it and a few select friends will taste it. And the recipe I'm making next is, is going to be for next week. Um, you're going to witness me making macaroni and cheese with wine. I've gotten fat as compared to 21 year old myself. Russell Crowe has gotten fat as compared to Gladiator himself because Russell Crowe was kind of fit in that movie. Because 21 year old me looked like I was still 16. And, you know, whatever age I am now, which I'm not going to disclose to you because that'd be awkward, uh, I look like I'm 21. 